Hello everybody, it's me Heather and today I am doing some unboxings and unbaggings. So a little Insta haul. Some items arrived today that I was not expecting to arrive. Actually, everything I'm gonna show you today I was not expecting today. So we'll just jump right into it. The first thing I have to share with you today is a lipstick haul from MAC. So I have not even opened the bag yet. This is the MAC Viva, Glam, bleh, MAC Viva Glam lipstick collection featuring artwork from Keith Haring. So I'm excited about this because first off, I love color. And as when we get into the haul, you're going to see these lipsticks are very unconventional colors, which I'm really excited about. So the MAC Viva Glam Fund has been around since 1994, and I think it's so cool that they're still doing this. 100% of the sale price from any MAC Viva Glam lipstick goes to local organizations that support women, girls, members of the LGBTQIA plus community, and also for people who are living with or affected by HIV. So I think it's so cool that in a time where many businesses are downsizing and, you know, really trying to squeeze every penny out of every sale, I think it's really cool that Mac is still going ahead with these type of efforts to do good in the world, to bring beauty into the world, to some support communities, Instead, they could have just been like, you know, we just cannot afford to do Mac Viva Glam this year. And instead, they came back threefold with three lipsticks. So the sales price from every single lipstick, $19, is going to the Mac Viva Glam fund. So I think that's amazing. So enough of me talking about this. Let's get into the haul. So I literally ordered this online today on Mac maccosmetics.com and they actually have they actually have same day delivery in my area so i've never done that before and i was excited i was like oh because i thought i was going to order it and then wait a week two weeks because of black friday and the cyber monday sales so i thought it was going to take a while for everything to get here so i'm super excited that i ordered this at 9 a.m and it got here at like noon <laughs> or like noon or one o'clock and i'm like whoa that was fast and i went downstairs to meet the courier and he was like, you got the last ones. So that makes it even more exciting. This is like back when Mac used to rule the world when it came to makeup collecting. And we would just camp out on the websites till like two, three, four in the morning. So the moment it launched, you could grab it and stuff would sell out in like two minutes. And it was just this rush if you actually got the collectible item and so I kind of got that rush again for a moment that I was like, ooh, I better, um." go on the website and order this because I have a it might sell out. I'm happy to say I did check the website before I came on. It is still available on the website. So if you like any of these, or even if you're not into the lipsticks per se, but you love that if you buy a $19 lipstick, you're making a donation to the Mac Viva Glam Fund. I mean, I think that's a cool way to do it, you know? But I did check the website. All three shades are still available to order online. In my case, the um, same day delivery in my area, obviously they're going to local Mac stores to pick up the product and bring it to me. And I got the last three in my area. So I was just like, that's exciting. That's like old school collecting. But anyways, let's do this. So I have not even opened the bag yet. And let's just dig in and see what's in here. All right, there's two. And let me get my third one. Whoops. Receipt. And okay. So let's, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm taking a look. I'll share with you. So Mac Keith Herring. So some of you might be like, who's Keith Herring? Maybe at first mention you're kind of like that name sounds familiar maybe i'm not sure who that is and some of you know exactly who that is the moment you see the artwork you're going to know who keith herring is this is keith herring the street style almost graffiti style pop art i hope that's not offensive for me to say pop art but i just mm, i love it oh the packaging's so cute you guys 
So if you have not seen these lipsticks yet, I haven't seen these yet because I haven't opened them yet, but I've seen them online. I've seen swatches online. I'm gonna do live swatches of all of them. I'm gonna swatch on my hand and on my lips so you can see them all. I think this is really cool because Keith Haring is known for using like a primary color palette when he creates his art. So I love that they did pick the, the red, the yellow, the blue. It makes perfect sense. So let's start with the yellow one. This one is called St. Mark's Yellow. And sorry, that might not focus in. St. Mark's Yellow. This is a, let's see, sorry, I am cheating off the website to get the descriptions. This is a sheer bright yellow with pearl. So I love unconventional lip colors. And I'll be the first to admit, yellow is a hard one to pull off just because it's so uncommon for us to see people with yellow lips. It always looks really cool in like editorial photos. Okay, let's admire this lipstick tube while I'm talking. How gorgeous is this? So really cool yellow editorials, but when it's on the lips and you start talking, oh, there we go. Oh, this is great detail. It's got the artist signature on the lipstick and that is definitely yellow. <laughs> um, and you can see the shine, you can see the pearlescence. Ooh, this is actually quite pretty. Um, I feel like I've actually seen a shade or two like this in prior MAC collections. So they're no stranger to doing the occasional yellow with a pearl. And this is supposed to be a sheer formula. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on my hand. Yeah, it is pretty sheer. I like it though. Sorry guys, my hands are like way lighter than my face. <laughs> So let's go ahead and just try it on, shall we? This actually, it's like a sheer frost. And this is pretty much what I expect for a sheer frost lipstick. It's really catching on my natural um, lines in my lips. Now, before filming this video, I did exfoliate and moisturize my lips with a lip oil. So I used a lip scrub and a lip oil. And honestly, when it comes to these kinds of lipsticks, it's not something I would wear on its own. I think most of us wouldn't wear it on its own. So the ways I'm going to wear this is first, you can use it as a layering lipstick. You can put this on top of any other lipstick to alter some pearl or shine into it. Mm, to give it some frost. The way I'm gonna use it is definitely as a layering lipstick. I think this will go great over a nude lipstick and then adding this, this will add a little bit of warmth and a little bit of pearl to it to just create your own lip color. Another way I would use it is definitely pairing it over like a red lipstick that may be a little too loud for you. Then it can turn more into like an orange type shade, but you'll have some of the pearlescence. I think that's kind of cool. So as you can see, I believe in the campaign photos, this is very like, mm, I like this. In the campaign photos, this is it looks like it's gonna be an opaque yellow and it's not gonna be an opaque color without some kind of base underneath. You could use foundation, concealer, actual lip base type products. I know some companies make those. Or you're just gonna layer it over other lipsticks or lip liners. All right, let me take this off and we'll do the next shade. All right, the next lip color is Canal Blue. It is a bold blue with micro pearl. So I have not opened these yet. This, oh, look at that. This is also my first time seeing. Ooh. Oh, I love the artwork on this. This is so great got the little keith herring angel oh you guys this is so cool okay okay wow oh, i love it oh okay 
Less talking, more trying, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and we will swatch those on my hand. Oh, wow, that's, wow, actually pretty good opacity. Wasn't expecting that. Sorry, let me just, there sorry, guys. Sometimes just trying to figure out the best angle to do anything in a limited space is, anyways. On the lips, let's do it. Mmm, this feels really nice. <gasps> this feels like your typical MAC lipstick. This has a very nice satin feel to it. The pigmentation's really good. It's applying evenly. And I'm able to layer it and build the color without it getting streaky. I love the shade. Now with a bold color like this, you'll definitely want to use a lip liner so you can get cleaner lines since I'm just kind of doing it really quickly. Sitting, I'm sorry, I thought I had Q-tips here. I was gonna clean up the corners, but I don't have any Q-tips here. Okay, later. So I'm gonna pair this with either a black lip liner. Yes, they do make black lip liners. NYX Cosmetics makes a black lip liner called Black Cherry or Black, I think it used to be called Black Cherry. I could have sworn it used to be called Black Cherry and it was just a straight up black. And I think now they actually changed the name to Black Berry. Somebody DM me, let me know what I'm talking about. I need to pick up one of those again because I don't have any black lip liners right now and that one's always been really good. But this would pair great with like a black lip liner. If that's you go for like a deep wine, you know, like a real deep Bordeaux wine lip liner, just something to give you a nice clean line and really make sure you blend it out before you apply the lipstick. That way you don't have a hard line around your mouth, unless, you're, unless you like that look. You know, I mean, my eyebrows are from 2002, so don't let me tell you how to do your makeup. <laughs> mm. But I love this shade and oh, oh my God, I love it. Okay, so this is Canal Blue. There's one more shade, let's move on to it. The final lipstick in the collection is called Red Herring. Haha, <laughs> yeah, see what they did there? Ah, nice play on words. And this is a red lipstick. This is a bright, vibrant red, is how they describe it. So once again, I'll let you take a look at the artwork. And, ooh. I love it. Do you love it? I love it. Do you love it? I love it. All right, bright. Mm. Whoops. Sorry, it's new, so it's on there kind of tight. Bright, vibrant red. You can never have too many shades of red lipstick. I'm honestly convinced of that. That is my makeup motto. Let's jump right into the swatch. Well, here, let me make it so you guys can see. Okay, perfect. Oh, it's a very... I would call this a cherry red. This is just a classic cherry red. It looks like it's a satin finish. Mm. Let's take a look. Mm. Gorgeous, great formulation. I've always loved MAC lipsticks. So just a heads up, I really try not to do this, but this is one of the few brands I just make an exception. They are not cruelty free. 
So I know that's really important for a lot of you makeup lovers. I just want to give you a heads up. So they're not cruelty free because of the umbrella brand that owns them still tests on animals. But Mac has this great, you know, initiative, this Mac Viva Glam fund. I mean, that kind of, I don't want to say that counteracts it, but you pick and choose your battles and that's the battle they've chosen to fight. So I respect that in this respect. So they are doing good in the world, but back to the lipsticks. So I love this collection. I think everybody who likes to collect makeup should pick up at least one. My favorites in the collection are obviously Canal Blue because how can you not love that? I was making sure I was saying the name right, Canal Blue. And I'm happy to say whenever I removed Canal Blue, it did not stain my skin. It did not stain my lips. So that's a bonus. It's nice to know that it's easy to remove and it, maybe I just didn't have it on long enough to stain, but usually if a lipstick's gonna stain, it'll stain within, you know, a few seconds, but oof. And this one definitely still gets an honorable mention because there's not many lipsticks that I use specifically for layering. And I don't mind occasionally having a lipstick that I just relegate to the layering category. But also, like I said, you can, I mean, everybody's different. Everybody's skin tone is different. So this might work for you on its own. If you have especially fair skin, you know, if you have more of a ruddy under, undertone, you could just wear this shade, Saint, sorry, Saint Mark's Yellow on its own. If you have a warmer skin tone, you know, yellow undertones, olive undertones, we need a little more help, you know, some kind of lip liner, layering it with a lipstick, using some kind of base on the lips. But I love this collection. I'm happy that I got to do some good by making purchases that I would normally make anyways. <laughs> you know what I mean? So let me know what you guys think of the collection. Are you going to pick up anything? Everything is still available at maccosmetics.com and 100% of the selling price, $19, does go to the Mac Viva Glam Fund. And once again, just to remind you, what that does is that helps to support local organizations that support women, girls, members of the LGBTQ plus community, as well as people that are living from, or excuse me, living with, or affected by HIV or AIDS. So thank you guys. I'm so excited I got to share this with you, but stay tuned. I have more stuff to show you.